Nice speaking, nice speaking. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, we just had two already. That's good. Thank you so much for being here on time. Madlene, thank you. Maria Santos, thank you. It's my pleasure to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. Okay, thank you so much. Let me show you what are we gonna do today, yes. Give me a minute, please. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna work with, again, section number 55 is the one that we are working. We have crossing cultures, expectations. That is the title of today's class. And we're gonna work with class number 15. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. And we're gonna start this class. Thank you, thank you, everybody. We have Wednesday, as you may know, September 20th, 2023. We're gonna have class number 15, and this that is pre-advanced English module number one. Thank you so much for being here. And we're going to have um, this topic for today, which is expectations. So we're going to have uh, a little bit of practice on this content. Okay, I hope that we can have the chance to do it uh, as much as possible. And um, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Okay, let's begin. We're going to have this information. Oh, it says etiquette, tips for international travelers. Okay, so we're gonna have this uh, tips for international travelers. We have some countries as you may see here, right? And this is about like expectations. What are your expectations when you travel? What are those? Yes. Um, for this one, we're going to have this young lady whose name is Carla Selena. Thank you, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Please read the information on the screen. Thank you. Carla okay. Selena. All the information? Yeah, please. Yeah, like the country's information, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Canada. Always bring a small gift for the house when invited to a meal at, at Canadian homes. Russia, Russia, do not, do not turn down offer of food or drink. Japan, take off your shoes before entering a house. Friends, when eating, don't rest your elbows of the table. Brazil, you can arrive between 15 to 30 minutes later for a party of Brazilian friends' home. Morocco, don't eat anything with your left hand. Thailand, never touch a person's head. Uh, China. Thank you, Lino, for letting me know also, Marlene. Thank you. That was very nice. Okay. So those were like some tips for international travelers. So if you uh, travel to one of these countries, take into account this information, right? We're going to start with Sara. Hello, Sara. Question number one is for you. Does your 
culture follow any of these customs? Um, I don't know, maybe no. Okay, thank you. What about the Brazil custom? Yeah. Um, like, do Salvadorian people um have this custom? Yeah, like arriving arriving late, fifteen yeah. thirty minutes. Maybe yeah, that one. True. Maybe that one, right? Yeah. Sometimes when 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 we invite some somebody to a birthday party, they usually arrive late. Yeah, most of them. It's it's rare when somebody gets early to a birthday party, like here in El Salvador. Okay, thank you so much. Y Roberto Eduardo Escamilla, hello. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome. How are you doing, teacher? Oh, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm here again, teacher. Try to, to learn more English. Oh, that sounds good. Question number two is for you. Do any of number, these customs... Number one? Seen... Oh, number two, please. This one. Number Do two any of these is, customs uh... seem unusual to you? Customs seem, uh, uh, for example, let me see which one. Uh, French, when you're eating, doesn't rest your element. Hold on, let me read again. Which one? Uh, maybe Brazil. Uh, that's can... unusual for you? Yeah, I think you can arrive arrive between fifty or thirty minutes late. The part in Brazil, for instance. No, I don't think so. Let yeah, me see another one. Morocco don't eat anything with your left. Oh, really? That's weird, you know. In Morocco. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah, like don't eat anything with your with your which, left hand. Yeah, that's unusual, right? Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you think that's unusual? Excuse me. Uh, explain your. Why do you think this uh, Morocco's custom is unusual? Uh let me see. I I don't think it's no usual in this in in, in Salvador. Because we're using both hands, you know. So I don't think. Let me see. The, let me see another one. Maybe it's kind of always bring a small gift for his heart when he went in. Maybe the Canadian, the uh, Canada is usual. Maybe here in El Salvador, you know, because. For example, when I visited uh, some family, uh, I I give it to them a uh, uh, a small gift, you know, like a, I don't know, like a bottle of wine or like a a food or or something, you know. When or I pastry, visit, them, right? Uh, yeah, uh, when I visit that. Uh, Another family, yeah. or you visit in love. friends, or when you visit friends, you know, or when you I visit your parents something. in love. Oh, my parents in love, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I try to, <laughs> I try to give it some gift. I don't know, yeah. like pastry, right? That's a good that. option. Like what? Excuse like me? pastry, pastry. Oh, pastry, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like pastry, for example. I, you can buy, you know, like a apple pie or something like this, you know. Exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, so they. Can I think uh, uh, for me, it's Canada. You know, it's usual between El Salvador and Canada and Canadian people. You know. That's true. That's true. Perfect. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. Very good. Thank you. And That's Marlene, are you better now? Are you better now, Marlene? Yes. 
Yes, I'm gonna think. Oh, that's good. The next one is for you, number three. What other interesting customs do you know? I don't know, teacher. Uh... Like, like from other countries, like. Mm. No. Oh, um, nothing. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, let me check the chat. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Lino, thank you. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. I, uh, I am interested in uh, the coast of Japan. Oh, tell me why, please. Thank you. Yes, why, uh, why uh, the culture is very interesting. Uh, the discipline is the better all around the world. That is true. Yes. I that is, that train, is true. I train in karate, uh, self-defense. Oh, they, karate. Yes. Uh, is it difficult? Uh, yes, it's difficult training. But uh, the discipline is very good. Uh, how often? How often do you practice that? Uh, for for twenty years. Oh, so you've been practicing that for twenty years? Yes. Oh, I that's. Am, I am Cinta Negra. Oh, look at that one. Yes, yes. I I come in in Japan is Ichi ni Sam Chi Ko. Oh, that sounds yes. interesting. Yes. yes, arigato, tomo arigato, muchísimas gracias. Oh, I heard that on Naruto Sumaki, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I heard that expression from there, yeah. Oh, that's yes, that's very really good. What is what is yeah. like um uh how come you you learned that thing like what is what is the interesting part of it like if if you want to invite people to do that uh, what would you recommend by what like uh if if like if you want to invite somebody else to practice karate like what are your suggestions or uh, what are your advices on that one? I don't know how to answer your question. I mean, you tell me that you practice karate, right? Yes. Yes. And you've been practicing that for like, for like, I don't know, 20, 20 years, right? So yes. what are your recommendations if we, if we want to practice karate? Uh, it's important. Yes. Uh, the better uh, the, our culture is a uh, self defense on the That's strip, true. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe the delinquency, yeah, like um, dangerous. <laughs> People yeah, somehow dangerous. it's dangerous outside. And Do you know a place? Do you know a place that where like we can go and we can like learn how to how to um yes yeah, maybe how to the, learn karate maybe of in this uh via central americana oh okay yes, yes. salvador uh, san juan o pico karate do guyo rio oh and, thank you and, and all el salvador is a school okay we have different karate. academies right yes different Thank you so much, Lino. Thank you for letting us uh, that Thank thing. You. Thank you so much. Somebody else wants to share something? Yes, because I, I, I saw another hand. Uh -huh. Somebody else? No? Okay, Toki, let's carry on with the next activity for you today. Thank you so much. We're going to have this beautiful conversation. Jenny. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm great tonight. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Do me a favor. Look at the picture over here and describe it. What do you see? Where are they? Um, 
Are they relatives? Are they friends? How do they look like? What are they doing or where are they going? I got two uh, parejas. How I can say couples? Parejas. Couples? Naples. No, couples. Couples. Okay. Ca couples. Couples. Uh, yes. <clears throat> the woman give uh, flowers to the lady and the man give a present maybe for baby shower but i can see the <laughs> the woman is pregnant <laughs> oh she had free holidays but, for lunch that's why um, <laughs> maybe it's afternoon oh yeah maybe right yes maybe who knows thank you so much do you see the title here jenny bring a small gift do you understand the title I don't know the chair. Brief. I, I I don't know what is the meaning of brief. Oh, okay. Olga, thank you so much, Jenny. Olga, Marleni, do you understand the title bring a small gift? Bring and I don't know. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Hey. Very good, Lino. Thank you so much. That's very good. Exactly. Bring is like when you get something with you, right? To somebody, to somewhere else. Yes. So you bring a small gift. Like when you visit Olga, somebody, do you usually bring gift with you? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Oh, what kind of gift do you bring with you when you visit, let's say, somebody? Sometimes. Mm. Um, maybe wine, flowers, chocolates. Oh, that's very expensive. Like wine, mm. I heard twice. Today in the class, I heard <laughs> twice wine. That's quite expensive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the wine that I know is very expensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's the one that I know that is very expensive. I don't know if you bring another one that is cheaper than the one that I know, but wine, I mean, that's very good. If for, but if, in the super if, is cheap, man. <laughs> okay. If, you only buy for a dinner, teacher. Wait, that's great wine. When my friend invite me. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> very good. What about you, um, Carla Selena? When somebody invites you to a party, let's say, or to his or her house, do you bring something um, to the end or you just like nothing? Just you don't care about it. Yes. Oh, what I kind of what, what kind of gift do you bring when you get invited? I bring me. I decide you, you you bring like a gift to um somebody or oh, okay. uh, it's a man it's difficult but it's a woman maybe no flowers. I mean I'm not, no I mean don't get confused like when somebody like invites oh. you to his or her, her house and like like it's like there is a meeting right in, in a in a random house let's say and somebody invites you um you do you usually bring gift with you no okay thank you so much yeah so you save money right you save money <laughs> that's good Lina thank you go ahead yes teacher in in my family always uh, have the the custom uh, maybe a uh, bread uh, uh, fruit oh yes pastry uh, right pastry yes always it's important uh, with, with a coffee right in the afternoon yeah, with, with a yes, cup of coffee, yes. a little bit of pastry. That's good. Yes. That's good. Yeah, semita alta, right? The big yes, one. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's good. Thank you so much, Lino, for sharing that. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to play the audio for this conversation. I want you to listen and read. 
and then we can practice all together. Page 33. Exercise 7. Conversation. Bring a small gift. Part A. Listen and practice. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it's okay first. Page 33. Exercise 7. Conversation. Bring a small gift. Part A. Listen and practice. My boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you're expected to ask if it's okay first. Thank you. That was the thank you. Okay, Roberto Eduardo, explain this. What is this conversation about? Tell me. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, they talking about uh, the gift, the the custom, uh, the USA custom. They they bring so uh, they bring a small gift. For example, they bring a uh, flowers or chocolate. Uh, when they visit another family or another friends, um, I think uh, uh, that's that's the custom, the United custom. Yep. Yeah, yeah, custom They're in the United about... States. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so yes. much. Uh, but the, what is your opinion about? At the end, we have something about kids. What is your opinion about it? Let me see, Roberto. What about is your opinion that? about here at the end? We have something about bringing kids to uh, someone's house. And what is your opinion about it? Uh, uh, you mean uh, the kids? Uh, yeah, it says like, if you have kids, you need to ask these uh, people if that is okay to bring kids with you to their houses. What do you mm -hmm. think about that? I think it, for me is it's no problem, you know. Uh maybe uh, it's no problem if he's a, a girl, you know. Or I mean, I mean, do you have kids? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh I don't I don't get it. Okay. I uh like if you're yeah, invited have... like if you're invited to someone else's house and you have let's say you have two kids right uh, uh yeah i got it got what it do you teacher. usually do do you bring your children with you or do you ask them before um, yeah i bring uh i go with my whole family you know i think it's no problem you know but this depends you know because uh my my big boy, uh, he don't like to go with me anymore, you know, because he's... He's a teenager, right? Yeah, he's a teenager, and uh, uh, he always tell me I, I, uh, I feel like a shame, you know, when I go with you he feels or something like, that. like this. And and I, I understand because uh, uh, when I was a teenager, maybe... My attitude was like that, you know. So, but my another kid, uh, yeah, he he all the time like to go with with me and and with my family. So for me, it's no problem to to go with with my boys, and I don't I don't have a problem if he somebody come to my house. And they come with uh little little boys, you know, little girls. 
uh, yeah, with children. No, with children. Uh, basically, they sometimes they they make a, a lot of mess. You know, That's true. when 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 they come when they uh, when they come to my house to my house, uh, uh, for example. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. Uh, but if he, if he, you tell them to the parents, uh, uh, put your kids, you know, like a, like a, uh, I mean, como que lo, que lo ponga quietos. Okay. Yeah. It's no problem for me. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you yes. so much. Very good. Perfect. So we're going to practice this conversation really quick between these two, Klaus and Olivia. Okay. I'm going to give you some time in the breakout room so you can practice a little bit. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Uh, please let me know in the chat if you have a problem with your mic or like if you can't participate so I can fix the, um, let's say, the breakout rooms. Please let me know in the chat if your mic doesn't work so I can fix that. If if not, that means that everybody is ready to participate. Save, save the conversation, please. Save the conversation. Thank you. Uh, and also if if you have the chance to send the conversation um on the chat that we have on WhatsApp, that will be good. Please do it. So so your classmates can have it. Right. Um, so I'm gonna open the breakout rooms right now. Can it? Um it's going to it's going to be really quick because of, of the okay, here we go. Of the type of conversation. Here in the main room, I need uh Neftali and Sara Elisa Belloso. Sara Elisa Belloso and Neftali, you too, and also Giovanni, you stay here in the main room. Okay, so uh, thank you so much. The rest of you, please join your groups and practice as much as you can. I'm going to give you five minutes to do so. And Excuse yes. Excuse me, can you show the conversation one time, please? Oh, sure, sure. One Let me time. check. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, really quick. I don't know if somebody, uh, no, nobody did. Okay, sure, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay. Sure, no problem. Just wait a minute so we can have it full. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No yet, no yet. Okay. Oh yes, right now, please. Save save the conversation. And also please send the conversation on WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, so your classmates can have it. That would be nice. If Thank you, you do teacher. it, my pleasure. Anytime. Okie dokie. Here we go. Uh, let me see. Breaker rooms. One more time in the main room. Neftali and Sara, you stay here. The rest of you, do me a favor and join. Yeah. Let me check the time. Here we go. Thank you. Please practice the conversation. Okay. Thank you. Please, uh, Carla, Selena, Karen, Marlene. Blanca, Roberto, Jenny, Janet, Olga, Wendy, please join. Joselino, Karen Ivet, Maria Santos Lopez, please join. Join the breakout rooms. Yes. So, um, mm -hmm. okay, Sara and Neftali. Okay, yes, you practice here. Okay. Yeah. Because it's your lady first. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, my boss invited my wife and me to dinner at his house. Oh, how nice. Yes, but what do you do here when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here is the U.S. Is the custom to bring a small gift? Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolates. 
And is it all right to bring our kids along? Well, if you want to bring them, you are expected to us if it's okay first. And now I first, my boss inviting my wife and me to dinner at his house. Okay. We can change if you want. Yes, please change words. Thank you. Okay, my boss invite invite my wife and me to dinner at his home. Oh, how nice! Yes, but what do you do when where when you're invited to someone's house? Well, here in the U.S., it's the custom to bring a small gift. Like what? Oh, maybe some flowers or chocolate. And it is all right to bring all kids along. Well, if you want to bring them, you are expected to ask if it is okay. First. First. Yes, thank you so much. Wendy, can you participate? Michelle Beatriz Diaz, can you participate? Yes or no? Maria Santos Lopez, can you participate? Yes, Michelle. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Michelle, I'm sorry. Um, thank you so much. What about you, Wendy? Can you participate? Yes or no? Okay, let me check the breaker rooms really quick. Okay, let's close all. Thank you. Yeah, so the, the conversation is very short, as you may know. Yeah, it's not something big. And so that's why I'm bringing all the rest of your classmates here in the main room back again. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, that very, was very short. Very little time, teacher. <laughs> oh, because the conversation is very short. Yes, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's why. Yes, uh, I I love I know that you do you love to to talk with your classmates, but um, <laughs> unfortunately the conversation is is very short. So that's why I did it like that. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. I need to take the attendance, so please do me a favor and give me like um like two minutes so I can do it. And when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Okay. Thank you so much. What is that thing? I don't find it. Oh yes. Here we go. Uh, Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you one more time. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. Okay. Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. Thank you so much, Giovanni. It's nice to have you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. Luis Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Jose Lino. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I apologize. Jose Lino, I apologize. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. I think she was here. Let me double check. Um, yes, thank you so much. It's nice to have you, Karen. Welcome. Okay, let me check. Eh, Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. It's nice to have you. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. 
she wrote in the what? chat. Oh, she wrote in the chat. Let me check that one really quick. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Also, Karen, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I got you here. Uh, thank you for letting me know in the chat. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Michelle, I think Michelle wrote in the chat. Let me check. Oh, thank you, Michelle. Welcome. It's nice to have you. It's raining heavy where you live, right? Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. One more time. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Let me check, Oscar. Did you send a message on Oscar? You Oscar is in here. Yeah, I don't see Oscar. No, okay, no, he isn't. Thank you so much. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Uh, present teacher. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Hello, Wendy. Let me check the chat really quick. Yes, thank you, Wendy. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you. Uh, Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, let me check. Let me check the attendance really quick. Uh, Edgar, no, Edgar, he is in here. No, 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 Edgar, no, Edgar, no. And also Janet Carolina. Janet Carolina. Oh, yeah, Janet Carolina is here. Thank you so much, people. Thank you. We're going to have like um, the grammar part of this uh, class, uh, which is the following. Let me show you really Page quick. Page 30. Um, let's listen. We have, well, two questions. If you are invited to someone's house in Germany, when are you expected to arrive? And what can you bring as a gift? So I needed to keep in mind these uh, two questions. I will play the audio so you can get the information uh, to answer these two questions. Okay, ready, let's begin. Page 33, exercise seven, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. If you are invited to someone's house in Germany, when are you expected to arrive? What can you bring as a gift? What are some of the customs in Germany? Well, when you're invited to someone's house, you can also take flowers. Not red roses, chrysanthemums, carnations, or lilies, but most other flowers are fine. When should you arrive? Should you arrive a little early? No, never. You're expected to arrive on time. Punctuality is very important in Germany. If you're going to be more than 15 minutes late, it's important to call the host. It's also the custom to write a short thank you note the following day. I like that. I wish we did that here more often. To me, it shows good manners. Page 33. Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. If you are invited to someone's house in Germany, when are you expected to arrive? What can you bring as a gift? What are some of the customs in Germany? Well, when you're invited to someone's house, you can also take flowers. Not red roses, chrysanthemums, carnations, or lilies, but most other flowers are fine. When should you arrive? Should you arrive a little early? No, never. You're expected to arrive on time. Punctuality is very important in Germany. Thank you so much. Let's begin with random people. Okay, let's check. Uh, Marlene, thank you. Yes, um, when are you expected to arrive? 
um, arrive on time. Exactly, right? Very good. There is one, but I think that he mentioned that's punctuality. punctuality. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Thank you so much. And uh, the other one is for you, Sara. Thank you. What can you bring as a gift? I can bring flowers, but not the red roses or lilies. Oh, very good. Yeah. Other kind of flowers are good, but not those ones. Very good. Fantastic. Piece of cake, right? If you're going to be more page 33. Thank you. We're going to watch this video related to the grammar part. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first so let's try to understand this particular idea here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following. That um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an uh, when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone, that's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the, the expectation is, when you visit someone and then you then it's going to follow the verb to be the verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form it could be negative in this case it happens to be that it's on its negative form so when you visit someone you aren't uh, then this is going to follow supposed to you aren't supposed to and then it's going to follow the verb so in this case the verb is arrive Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say, if the service in a restaurant is good, okay, that's the if clause, okay, then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject. Okay, you're um, supposed to, okay, and then that's going to follow the verb, so you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of complement. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green, just so you can see that 
this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? Um, after that, follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures. And in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave, a t uh, to leave um, any whatsoever right let me go ahead and uh, give another example here uh, what I'm going to say is when you go out with friends to dinner all right um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit I'm going to say it's uh, and instead of supposed to I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or, or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Okay, so here we have the expectations explanation. And as I was like, you know, reading this topic again, here we have this beautiful thing that is called bird to be. Yes, um, here we are is and also are on this one right we're gonna have this typical uh classes here when you visit someone or if you want to bring others and then usually we have as the video right a subject then we use the word to be yes that could be negative that could be positive sentence as well and then we're gonna have this expression customs post expected uh acceptable uh, too Right. And as you may know, after the word to, yes, we usually have a verb, but in infinitive form. Yes. So all these words goes related to the customs. So you can figure it out how this one is done. Use the base form of a verb, not the gerund. Okay. After these expressions for expectations. Be the custom to, be supposed to, be expected to, be acceptable to. Is the custom to arrive a little late. So when we are using these words or these expressions for expectations, we are going to use uh, the infinity form of the verb. Okay. Page 33. Let's have a little bit of practice on this one. As you may see on the screen, we have this exercise, which is complete sentences with classes in the box. So in the box, we have some classes, right? It's not acceptable to show up without calling first. It's the custom for them to break, to sit down across for, from each other. You're expected to reply within a few days. You're supposed to bring a gift and you're supposed to shake his or her hand. 
hand. Very good. Okay. So if you see here, we have the first one that goes with this one. When you meet someone for the first time, you're supposed to shake, shake his or her hand. What about the number two? What is the number two? That is going to be for you, Olga. Thank you, Olga. When a friend okay, sends you an me. email. It's the custom for them to sit across from each other. Okay, what is the correct option? I'm sorry. Can you, can you repeat that? Yes. Okay. Is the custom for them to sit across from each other? Okay. Okay. So it says number two, when a friend sends you an email. Mm. It's not the correct you are expected to repeat within a few days. Okay, who said that? That's you, Selena? You're expected to reply with him a few days. Okay, you're expected to reply within a few days. Yeah, I, th I think that one fits. Okay, thank you so much. So it's... Oh, Jesus. It's uh, the custom... Oh, Jesus. Oh, is it that you're expected? I'm sorry. My mistake. My bad. You're, oh, Jesus. You're supposed, oh, Jesus, expected. Expected to reply within, oh, my gosh. Oh, just give me a minute. Within. A few days. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, right? When a friend sends you an email, you're expected, expected um, to reply within a few days. Yes? Thank you. Jenny, number three is for you, Jenny. If you want to visit someone... You're supposed to read a gift. You're supposed no. to read a, a gift. Or... It is not acceptable to show show up with, without calling first. Okay, let's see. Thank you. It's not, not acceptable. acceptable. Oh, the double C. Did I mistake? Acceptable but to show to show up without. Oh, Jesus! Without calling. First, okie dokie, very good. Yes, so if you want to visit someone, it's not acceptable to show up, show up without calling the first. Yes, are we good here? Okay, it's not acceptable to show up without calling first. Thank you. What about the number four that is going to be for you, Neftali? Thank you, number four. Okay, teacher. Uh, I think, but I'm not sure. Is the custom to, for them to sit across from each other? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. Give me a minute. It's, you told me, the custom Um, for them. Oh, my gosh. To sit down. Oh, it's not to sit down, it's to sit across. 
across the street. No, across from each other. E each other. E K. Yeah, thank you so much. Very good. Oh, you see this one? It's the custom. Okay, let me check spelling for them to sit sit across from each other. Okay, very good. I know number five. Oh, tell me, please. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> oh, that you really to a bird right party. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. You're supposed to bring a gift. Bring a okay, gift. very good. Oh, the, in El Salvador, right? They tell you, oh, I'm sorry, te lo debo, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, honey. Te lo debo, right? Yes. <laughs> and then you say, you bastards, why? Why are you like that? Okay. <laughs> now uh, the gift is a, uh, what is the sobre? It's like a envelope <laughs> with envelope. money, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everybody loves money. Don't want uh -huh. uh, a gift uh, material. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is true. Because gifts are getting expensive. Like, um, back $10. in the... Exactly. <laughs> gifts are getting expensive. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe a, a, a t-shirt from a shopping center. Or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a, a dollar of lichas, right? <laughs> Maybe if you can get a dollar of leeches. Yeah, that's a gift. But people like, I mean, now they they want like expensive gift. And yes. I mean, maybe three pupusas, that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, right? That's expensive. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe, a, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just joking. Everything is getting expensive. So uh, the first thing we think about is giving them money. Marlene, do me a favor, Marlene. Please read all the sentences. Please go ahead. Okay. And when you meet someone for the first time, you're supposed to shake his or her hand. Hand. When a friend sends you an email, you're expected to reply within a few days. If you want to visit to visit someone, it's not a acceptable to show up without calling first if you invite a married couple to dinner is the custom is the custom for them to sit across from each other when you go to a birthday party you're supposed to bring a gift very good right so uh, the idea here as you may know in the middle we have this is the subject, right, that we have here. Yes, and again, we have this beautiful thing that is called verb to be. That could be negative, that could be positive. And then we're gonna have this, this expressions supposed to, expected to, acceptable to, okay, uh, and supposed to. And then we're gonna have a verb that goes related to the custom, right? Yes, uh, thank you so much. Very good. Now, what I want you to do is the following. Okay, uh, here we have this beautiful picture. Please, um, Jenny, describe the picture. What do you see here? Uh, two men in a gas station at the night. Um, it is because it is, is the picture is, is in what? Black and white. That's what Black and white, and <laughs> that's why it's nice. <laughs> maybe it's in the night. <laughs> For me, it's at the night. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> it's my Thank you. imagination. Well, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, very good. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you. Okay, here we have this exercise. Okay, uh, because of the time, I think we won't be able to finish all of it. Um, but the idea is to complete sentences by using information about customs in a country you know. Let's say, for example, if Selena, um, I don't know, went to Japan, for example, yeah, she knows a few things about Japan, right? So what can you tell us about it? 
And we're gonna have like the sentences like this example. If you go for a long ride in a friend's car, then it's the custom to offer to pay for some of the extra expensive. Some of the expenses. Oh. If you go for a long ride. What is the meaning of expenses? Oh, expenses are like extra things. Like, for example, if you travel to Santa Rosa de Lima, for example, and with like in a friend's car, maybe you can buy some food or some like, I don't know, extra things like water, let's say, I don't know. Um, uh, some drinks like horchata, right? A maybe, maybe carne de chucho, San Vicente. Oh, San Vicente, right? Yes, carne de chucho. <laughs> <laughs> With two tortillas, yes, okay. Yes, so the idea is that you can write about these customs in different countries, okay? And don't forget that practice makes perfect, so practice your English at home uh, as much as you can, so you can get confidence on this one. We're going to stop here because of the time. Good night. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care, people. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. You do the same. You do the same. Bye-bye.